Hey everybody, and how we doing tonight? And as always, my name is Chris, and I'm coming back at you here from the Tombstone Tavern. This is Double Barrel Podcast with another Single Barrel Blast. Today, I want to talk to you guys about five bourbons that we've all probably thought about introducing people to. These are This is my top five bourbons to not start people out on. There is a six, though, but I don't have it here. That being said, let's get into this. I have had the experience myself, and I accidentally did the same thing to Justin, where we started out on bourbons that were not necessarily the correct starting point. It's like when you play a video game. You don't start playing the video game at level 60. You got to start at level one. Well, I started out at like level 80, and poor Justin, I'm like, here, level 120, you got this, man. And, well, we, we, we had a little bit of a rocky start there. Anyway. We're going to read left to right. What's funny about this, though, is three of them are in my top five. <laughs> That's why this is going to get really weird. But I also picked these because these are very nice, cool. They're out there. People love to talk about them and hear about them. Bookers. This dude's hot. Justin tried him, and we just did our 10th episode of Double Barrel Podcast. I busted him out. Justin still struggled, even after a year of trying to up his palate. He he had a hard time again. Therefore, I'm like, this guy, he and even tasting him, I was like, no, no, no. I would not start anybody out on this. And at $115, it's just a waste. Justin did find some of the notes, so he is evolving and transcending a little bit. He did struggle with it a little bit. I don't recommend starting anybody out on any of the bookers, though, personally. Old Forester. Now, the Old Forester, this goes for the single barrel and the 1910. They're just too much. Don't do it. It, I know we want to do it. We think it's a good idea. It's a bad idea to start them out on those two. The um, Prohibition style one, maybe, or the 1920, maybe. I have not tried the 1920 or the Prohibition style yet, so I need some help here. Drop me a line if you think those are good, but the 1910 and a single barrel, I don't recommend. No, not a good idea, but Old Forester, definitely one of the, the good old boys out there. And But this one's almost 130 proof. This is 129.7. I think so. Those are 128. 129.7. Not a good idea to start anybody out on. Okay, moving down the line here. Elijah Craig. Any of the Elijah Craig barrel proofs, don't do it. It's not worth it. All right, these Elijah Craigs, I think the weakest one's 124.4 or something like that. This is the C923. It's 133. It's the hottest one in my collection. Let me tell you, I'd be a horrible person. And I was a horrible person because I started adjusting out on the B523 which was 125.3 or 0.2 or something like that. It cooked him. It's just not a good idea to start out on Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I'd recommend the small batch if you're going to do it. Nothing more. Wouldn't even recommend the toasted. It's just a little a little too much out there to start people on. Okay, moving down the line here, Russell's. I know a lot of people out there saying, Chris, it's Russell's. Why are we, come on. It, it, it gets a little warm to start on. I mean, this one is only, I think it's, it's 110 proof, but guys, it's not a good starter bourbon. It just isn't. I don't recommend it. It has some very harsh notes and it can be a little pungent up front, especially for some of those people that are not used to bourbons. That's why I don't recommend it. It's a $60 bottle as well. This one's a 70 to 80. Just don't waste your time. Don't waste your money on starting people out on these because they're just not going to have a good experience. Number five, I did bring out the Elijah Craig Toasted because the Elijah Craig Toasted, it, it can be kind of unforgiving. And I've had Justin try it. He's actually coming around to this, but it's taken him almost a year to come around to this bottle. So it can be it can be intense. It really can be. Now, number six is actually my first bourbon that I ever started out on, and it's Four Roses Small Batch Select. It's about 116 proof. It's hot. It, it, and here's the thing. I, I know it because... It had a lot of floral, citrus aromas, and it did transfer the palate, but it just, it's too much for someone beginning. It doesn't work. I do not recommend the Four Roses Small Batch Select or the Four Roses Single Barrel. If you're gonna do it, do the Small Batch or the Regular. Just saying it out there, folks. Anyway, let me know what you think. This is interesting. I wanna put that out there to the people. Which ones do you think are not good starter bourbons? Okay. As always, my name is Chris. Always remember, never drink a drive, never mix your guns and alcohol. And we'll see you back here next time on Double Barrel Podcast. And this has been another Single Barrel Blast. We'll see you guys here next time.